Hello fellow students. Me and my friends have decided to organize a campaign towards bullying and how you should always raise awareness towards it. To convince you to join our campaign, we're going to be talking about three facts. First of all, what is bullying? Secondly, why is bullying a big problem in today's society? And finally, the conclusion, how you should always be aware of bullying. And don't forget to join us to the 2021 Anti-Bullying Week coming soon, taking place from the 15th to 19th November 2021 in London. Bullying is when someone uses power over you again and again. When they continually pick on you and try to make you feel bad, it can be about how you look, what you wear, how you act, what you're good at and not good at. The type of bullying or physical bullying, when the bully is regularly hiding or punching someone, verbal bullying, when the bully is spreading rumors or lies about someone, social bullying, when the bully sends messages about someone. The difference between a conflict and a bullying situation is that a conflict is a disagreement or argument in which both sides express their views. On the other hand, bullying is a negative behavior directed by someone exerting power and control. Usually the conflict is open and noisy, but the harassment cannot be heard. Why is bullying a big problem in today's society? What causes bullying? The cause of bullying from a first degree can be being miserable or insecure, having poor supervision, and from a second degree can be getting aggressive behavior, getting physical and verbal abuse or assault from families or others' violence. The consequences of bullying is that the victim is not being able to sleep, go to school or to do your homework, getting scared of what people think of you, not being able to enjoy things, when it gets really bad, the victim feels alone and gets depressed. What bullying can cause to a person? Bullying from a first degree can cause a person to drop out of school or lose their desire to learn. And from a second degree, complete isolation, risky behavior, alcohol, drugs. And from a third degree, it can cause self-harm or suicide. I also wanted to explain why you should always raise awareness of bullying, even if a light has shined on you. Strategies to not be the victim. First, you can ignore the bully, tell the bully to stop, walk away, pretend you don't care, find somewhere safe, get support from your friends, talk to an adult can, that can help, and uh, if it's online, you can leave the chat or uh, the conversation and block or report the person. Second, the strategies to help a victim. If you see like someone being bullied on social media or in real life, you can defend and support them by saying it's not okay. Remember to never join in uh, with bullying or do the same nasty things back to them. So even if a light has shined on bullying and it has become less of a problem than it was before because victims aren't ashamed of it anymore, you should always raise awareness of bullying because people around you that you love can be suffering from being bullied.